So as these protests and judicial review has been going on in Israel, there's been little, if any, conversation about what Arab Israelis and Palestinians feel about this. So this is a few clips of showing what individual Palestinians and a.k.a. Arab Israelis think about the judicial reform. Citizen of Israel, Yunan explains why he thinks it's important for members of his community to participate. Even if there's only one Arab here, he's giving legitimacy for the Arabs who are against the package of laws that the far right wing government is trying to pass. Well, first of all, this uh, legis uh, legislation limit the Supreme Court's powers to overturn government decisions. We are speaking about the Israeli government, of course, and it deemed uh, unreasonable, uh, passed by a 64 vote, uh, to zero vote after opposition Knesset members abandoned the session. This means given uh, the giving Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his ministers, far-right wing ministers, ministers from the settlers aggressive policies against the Palestinians. It will, of course, have negative implications for Palestinians. The Supreme Court has not helped out to fairly judge the Palestinians. That they are uh, trying to protect was not a real democracy as long as it pushed away and alienated the uh, Palestinian citizens. Mm -hmm. The military, the courts, the government, they all work together, which is why it's so ironic to me that there are hundreds of thousands of people marching on the streets of Tel Aviv, uh, you know, uh, trying to save the progressive beacon that is the Israeli Supreme Court, when you find its fingerprints all over the injustice. Abed Abu Shahada says he was invited to participate. And I saw a sea of Israeli flags. And I couldn't do it. But then the day, the protest itself, the DNA of the protest, can't welcome anyone who is not an Israeli Jew. It's clear that they're not ready for this the discourse. They're not willing to give up their privileges. And they want to preserve the state as Jewish before being a democracy.